Hi, I'm Nishad and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out our new plugin. That's the Laravel Bugisto Purchase Order Management plugin. So basically using this plugin, you'll be able to perform purchase management functions within your store for your products that are there within the store itself. So the Bugisto web store admin would be able to create suppliers, add supplies to products, create quotations and purchase orders and manage incoming shipments. Apart from that, you'll also be able to set up the procurement method as automatic or manual. In the case of automatic procurement, the uh, purchase orders or the quotation uh, would be created in a draft format uh, whenever a product goes into low stock there. And in case of the manual procurement, the admin would be able to create the quotations uh, on the backend panel there uh, using the manual method itself. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out uh, the workflow of this particular plugin at the backend there of the admin in the admin backend panel of the Bugisto itself. And we'll be checking out how the admin would be able to create suppliers add suppliers to products, how the admin would be able to add additional attributes for the quotations, how to create the quotations and how to confirm the quotations, how to create the purchase orders and how to manage the incoming shipments and products in the admin backend panel there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the storefront first and then we'll be hopping on to the admin backend panel and we'll be checking the rest of the workflow there for the Laravel Bugisto purchase order management plugin itself. So right now I'm at the Bugisto web store front end. So initially what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the initial configuration settings of the plugin after we have successfully installed the Laravel Bugisto purchase order management plugin in the admin backend panel there. So for the same, let's hop on to the admin backend panel first and let's see the initial configuration that are required for the plugin in the first place. And then we'll be seeing how to add the suppliers, how to add the suppliers to the products and the rest of the functionality there in the admin backend panel for the respective plugin itself. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel now. So uh, here I'm at the admin backend panel of the Bugisto itself. So I'll be entering the email password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. And after the successful installation of uh, the Laravel Bugisto purchase order management plugin, what you need to do is you initially need to go to configure section so i'll go to configure section and here you'll find one option with the name purchase order so you have to tap on that after tapping on the purchase order under the configure option here you'll have two different settings one is the setting option and one is the general settings there for the purchase order itself so under the settings we have the package settings as you can see the package settings and here you'll be able to allow the purchase order package so you have to enable this option and enabling this option would bring up the purchase order side panel option here on the left hand side as you can see where i'm hovering my mouse right now so allowing the purchase order package would bring up the purchase order menu option here on the left hand side panel of the admin backend panel there now let's hop on to the general settings under the general settings uh, we have the general option and the email options under the general option, we'll be able to set up the procurement method as manual or automatic. In case of manual procurement, you'll be able to generate the quotations manually and you'll be able to confirm those quotations to uh, create the purchase orders there for the products itself. Otherwise, in the uh, automatic procurement method, it will trigger a draft purchase order to buy the required purchase order quantities to the suppliers there. Then we have the default prefix. Here you'll be able to set up the prefix that would be used uh, during the quotation increment number generation. So you can set it up as per your own requirement there. Then we have the default padding and here you'll be able to set up the default padding for quotation purchase order increment number generation there. So after you are done with the general options here, we have the email option. Here you will be able to set up the quotation template. Uh, so you have to select the quotation email template that would be used to send the quotation to the suppliers there. Then we have the purchase order template. The order email template would be have to be selected here to send the particular order email template to the suppliers there. And then we have the con cancel order template. So here you have to select the cancel order email template that would be used to send the emails in case the particular 
uh, purchase order is being cancelled by the admin from the backend panel there. So after you're done with these configuration settings, then you get the purchase order section on the left hand side. So under the purchase order section, the admin would be able to add the supplies, uh, basically uh, add the additional what we say as the attributes for the quotations there. Apart from that, the admin would be able to generate the quotations, uh, confirm the quotations and uh, basically generate the purchase orders and manage the incoming shipments and the products under this particular section. So let's get ahead and let's see what different sections do we have under the, the uh, purchase order section here. So under the purchase order, we have quotations, purchase order, incoming shipments, incoming products, manage suppliers and manage attributes. So the very first thing that we will be seeing is how to manage the suppliers or how to add the suppliers in the first place under the purchase orders here. To do so, I'll just tap here on the manage suppliers section and here you can see that I've already added one supplier here with the name John Doe and email john at webcool.com with the company as webcool, telephone number, zip code and here you can see that the supplier is uh, uh, is registered as a supplier since the particular date that has been mentioned here. To add a particular supplier, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add suppliers button on the top right hand corner and that would bring up the supplier section and here you have to enter the name of the supplier for example Smith Doe, his email address, his company, any tax or what number, his website, his gender, his address, his country, state, city zip code telephone number and you have to choose the supplier's source as the default one as per the requirement there and then you need to tap here on the save supplier and this would save the particular supplier and the supplier would be listed here under the managed suppliers thereafter so this was the procedure of creating the supplies in the first place now let's see how we'll be able to uh, assign the supplies to the products in the Bugisto backend panel there. For that what I'll be doing is I'll be going to the catalog section and under the catalog section what I'll be doing is I'll be opening one particular product to which I want to assign the suppliers to and I'll be navigating to the suppliers section and there I'll be selecting the supplier. I'll be setting up the quantity required, uh, the uh, what we say as the cost price of the product and the rest of the settings as well. So here you can see that here I have t-shirt black and red shoes as two products that are there within my backend panel there. So I'll edit the product and I'll scroll down to the particular section that says suppliers. And here you can see that we have the button to add a new supplier. So to add a new supplier, what you need to do is you need to tap on the add new supplier button and that will bring up this particular section. As you can see, here you have to set the minimum minimal quantity that you want to uh, procure from this particular supplier lead time in days, the priority, set it as active or inactive and then tap on the add new row. Under the add new row, you have to enter the product quantity and the cost price for the particular supplier there. Let me delete this out. So here you can see that we have selected John Doe, the supplier, set the particular quantity here, uh, the lead time in days, uh, the priority there and we have set the quantity and the cost price of the product there. The same goes with the other product as well. If I tap here on the red shoes and I scroll down to the particular section, that's the supplier section. So here you can tap on the add new supplier button, select the supplier from the drop down, set the minimal quantity, lead time in days, the priority, tap on the add new row, set up the product quantity that you want to procure from this particular supplier, the cost price, and then you need to tap here on the save product button to save the particular supplier for the particular product. Now let's go back to the purchase order section. So that was uh, how we can basically assign a particular supplier to a particular product there in the admin backend panel. And now let's see the rest of the options that we have in the, uh, what we say as the purchase order section. So here uh, we are done with the manage suppliers. Now let's go to the manage attributes. Now under the manage attributes, you'll be able to add attributes for your quotations that you're going to send to the suppliers there. So this is the additional extra uh, information that you want to send out. So you can create the additional attributes as per your own requirement there. To add a new attribute, you need to tap here on the add attribute button. Here you can see that I've already created one attribute with the name enter mode details and it's a text field and uh, I've set show in mail as yes and the status is active. To add a new attribute, just tap here on the add attribute button 
and set the attribute label, attribute code, choose the attribute type as text field, text area, date, yes, no, multiple select, drop down or media image. Uh, choose to show in the supplier mail as well so you can select it as a yes or a no as per your own requirement and set the status for the same and then tap on the save attribute button to save the particular attribute there. And then the particular attribute would be listed under the manage attribute section here. So this was how we can uh, manage the attributes for the quotations there. Now let's hop on to the quotation section and let's see how the admin in the first place would be able to manually uh, create the quotations in the first place. So for that, let's hop on to the quotation section. So under the quotations, uh, you will be able to manage the quotations. So to create a quotation, you have to tap here on the create new purchase order. That will bring up the quotation section. As you can see here, we have to select the source document. So we are creating the quotation manually. So I'll set it as manual quotation. Uh, I'll set a note uh, need to get more products as they are in they are in low stock as the note we can set our note then uh, under the please select a supplier here we have to select a supplier so i'll select a supplier right now we had only added one supplier so that's why only one supplier is visible and here for the quotation you can see the additional attribute enter more details the same with the text field is visible here so i'll enter uh, details like products required kindly send in so this uh, enter more details that is a text field i have created this attribute under the manage attribute section so the same is visible within the quotation section as well and here we have the supplier details now i'll tap on the next button on the top right hand corner that would bring up the add selected products to quotation section and here we have to select the products that we want to procure from this particular supplier that we have selected in the previous stage so i'll select those up and i'll tap here on the create quotation button and this would uh, assign the products to the suppliers there and the quotation would be created so the quotation order id is po underscore uh you can see the same number with the last digit as one is visible to the admin there here's the order date the quotation creation date the source document is manual uh, quotation the order status right now is new the note that we had added need to get more products as they are low in stock the additional attribute products required kindly sent in items ordered to products with their cost price their quantity and their source the order total now here on the particular quotation, uh, if you want, you can also add comments uh, to the uh, particular quotation there and you can notify the supplier by the email as well. To send a particular quotation to this respective uh, supplier, what you can do is you can tap here on the send by mail button that you have. So if I tap here on send by mail, a mail would be sent out to the particular supplier on his email address. Now, if I go ahead and I check my inbox here, you can see the particular quotation has been received by the particular John Doe supplier and new quotation has been submitted. Quotation ID is visible here. As you can see, the particular note that we had added, uh, the uh, additional attribute that we had added that was enter details with the text uh, uh, content that we had added, products required currently send in is visible along with the products, their cost price, their quantity and the subtotal is visible to the supplier there. Now let's go back to the admin backend panel. Now the quotation has been created. Now if I go to the uh, quotation section here, we will find the particular quotation being created with the creation date, the source document and the supplier email and the status is new. Let's switch the particular quotation. Now here what you can do is you can edit the quotation as well if you want. To edit the quotation, you can tap here on the edit quotation and uh, you can uh, change the notes. Uh, you can change the quantity of the uh, products that you want to procure from the particular supplier. If you want to add any uh, product description or change the product description, you can do that. You can change the expected date as well. And then you can tap here on the save button to save the particular uh, quotation there. Apart from that, for the uh, quotation, if you want to send any comments to the particular supplier, then you can enter the comments as well. Uh, send in the quotation. Uh, quotation. Kindly check the same and we can proceed further. 
further. And I'll check this notify supplier by email and I tap here on the add comment. So you'll see that an email would be sent out to the supplier there and a comment would be added to the quotation as well. Here you can see that the supplier notified status is new sent in the quotation kindly check the same and we can proceed further. Now if I check my email, I can check the particular hello John Doe new message for you related to the quotation quotation ID. The message that uh, was appended there sent in the quotation kindly check the same and we can proceed further. Now let's go back. So this was how we can create a quotation. And the status right now for the created quotation is new. Now, uh, if the quotation is accepted by the admin there after the reply has been added by the supplier there, uh, or the supplier has responded back using his email address, the particular uh, comment would be or the content of the email would be added here under the comment history. And after the admin recognizes that uh, yes, uh, the quotation is good to go, then the admin can confirm the quotation by tapping here on the confirm quotation button. So let's tap here on the confirm quotation button. This was this would confirm the quotation. And you can see that the order status has changed from new to confirmed. And uh, here are the details. If you want, you can also uh, enter more comments here and you can notify the supplier by email as well as per the requirement there. So after we have confirmed the quotation, the quotation would be removed from the quotation section and would be sent out to the purchase order section. So this is a purchase order now and then the status is confirmed. We can with the purchase order as well. If I want, I can print the order details as well. I can check the quotation details as well as you can see with the additional attribute product description, uh, the expected date as well. Now let's go back. Apart from that, if I want, I can edit the quotation as well or the uh, purchase order as well by tapping here on the edit option and I can make the changes as per the requirement there and I can save the uh, purchase order once again. Now let's come back to the purchase order section. So we have confirmed the purchase order. So after uh, confirming the purchase order and sending the mes message to the particular supplier, the supplier would send in the products to the uh, admin. So if I go to the uh, after purchase order, let's go to the incoming shipments. Now under the incoming shipments, we can see the incoming shipments uh, that are going to come to the admin there and the supplier name with the scheduled date there and you can see that it's ready to receive i can tap here on the edit button and uh, within the incoming shipment uh, we can see the scheduled date the source the picking status ready to receive uh, and here for the incoming shipment if i want i can add or i can append any comment as per the requirement and i can notify the supplier by email as well by selecting this option and tapping on the add comment button now apart from that if I want I can also uh, change the schedule date by tapping here and changing the scheduled receiving date and the time and I can tap here on the update button and the particular thing would be updated as you can see here. Now after I've received the uh, incoming shipment uh, the admin of the uh, Bagasso web store what he'll be able to do is for example I'd uh, procure two products t-shirt and the red shoes now I've received the t-shirt and the red shoes and now what I can do is after receiving the products I can check whether I've received the correct quantity there and the products are okay and are not broken there then what I can do is I can update the stock there by tapping here on the update stock button and you can see that the status for the one that I tapped on the update stock has been shown as received there. For example, for this one, the other one, if I'm having some issues, I can comment that out and I can send that comment to the uh, respective supplier that the products uh, were in the wrong, uh, uh, what we say as a, or were broken there and I need to replace them up. So I can uh, again change the schedule date here for receiving the rest of the shipment there. And after I've received the shipment, I can tap here on the update stock to update the particular stock there. And then the picking status would be changed from uh, ready to receive to received as you can see here. And uh, this was the edit uh, shipment section or the incoming shipment section. Then we have the incoming products. So after we have received the products, we can edit the particular incoming product section and we can uh, mark a closure for the uh, particular uh, what we say as the procurement that we have done from the supplier there. Uh, we can send the message to the supplier as well. Products received kindly close this uh, 
close this for example uh, we can notify the supplier we can add the comment for the incoming product there and uh, this particular message would be sent to the particular supplier on his email there so here you can see our products received kindly close this uh, and this is related to the quotation that's the quotation number one for the purchase order one uh, that was there so uh, this was about the incoming products uh, similarly you can go with the other one as well for the incoming product you can add uh, the particular comment and you can notify the supplier that you have received the products in a good condition there and uh, the particular purchase order is good to be closed down now so these were the uh, sections under the uh, purchase order uh, wherein uh, we showed you how the admin would be able to uh, create the suppliers, add the suppliers uh, to the products, how to create the quotations, how to uh, confirm the quotation to transfer it into the purchase orders, how to uh, uh, basically receive the incoming shipments and receive the incoming products there and the rest of the workflow there. So yes, that was much about the video today and I find uh, and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same there. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding this particular plugin, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bugisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bugisto.uedes.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.